Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. I'm getting ready one of our cold frame, hoop house cold frames. I'm gonna warm up the soil, get it ready for an early planting of some salad greens. But I have to rebuild it. Um, the plastic that we use is kind of cheap and it's fallen off down here. So I'm gonna put new plastic on here. I'm gonna put this on one of the beds and warm it up. And I just wanna make a video about showing you how to get your soil ready kind of early for some greens. It's February 1 and I'm ready to start planting even though there's snow on the ground here, so. I'm gonna take off some of this, uh, just the old plastic needs to come off. It's been on here like four years and it ripped in the winter during a storm. I added a stabilizer on this end of the hoop house. This end here has the vent and this end was kind of loose so I put this one by two with just a screw up here. So one of my raised beds here, I've got the remnants of some kale and stuff that it still looks kind of alive. And I actually got it through the winter last year. So I'm going to put the hoop house here. We're going to warm this soil up and see if these kick back in. And I'm also going to start some uh, mescaline kind of salad green transplants seedlings in the house. And in like a month, maybe I could drop them in here. So I'm going to drop it on here, warm the soil up and you know, life's a big experiment and so is garden fork. Here we go. So, we've got this on. I'm thinking this kale is going to get a second or third life and come back up. There's some greens under here I know that maybe they'll pop up again. And then the seedlings that we're starting in the house in about a month are gonna drop in here. Uh, if you wanna know where to get these solar powered, well, it's a thermally activated vent in the side of the hoop house. There should be a link right below here in the text. You have to show info below or on our website. There's more information for that. If you like our shows, would you subscribe? There's a subscribe button up here. Just click on that. This is what happens after two feet of snow put, hits your cold frame hoop house that you just uh, rebuilt and put up. So uh, I've got an idea for a more robust one, which we're going to make a video about using some metal conduit instead. The PVC, it's flexible and it's nice because we can just take this snow off of here and uh, it'll pop right back up. It is much warmer in here than it is out there and that is very cool. They want this, as you can tell. Go. All right, there you go. Cold frame hoop house update and repair. But uh, stay tuned for more. If you like the show, hit the subscribe button up there and also sign up for our email newsletter, news at gardenfork.tv. You'll get an auto response. There's also a link below for our email newsletter and links to our other hoop house videos as well at the end of the show and also below here. All right, make it a great day and tell me what you're up to. I'd like to hear from everybody. It's eric at gardenfork.tv is my email. See you later. Thank you.